Hello, good afternoon, fifth Friday. And today I want to share with you、um, how we can use Python to write to an Excel. You know, for those who work in the office, should know that Excel is almost the number one software that for、um, organizing data in your daily work.、Uh, it's a great tool, but sometimes it's hard to use because it's not very convenient to use. And of course, you can use VBA, but it's not a very nice program. And so, combination with Python can be one of the solution. For instance,、um, I have recently asked to organize a database file. Of course, I simplified it. In the office, I use、uh, Microsoft Excel, of course. But now at home, I would use、um, LibreOffice. But it's actually the same. Now, there's a simplified version of the Office database that I have to maintain. I would add in an item、uh, from the given information by my coworkers or、uh, something that I from the internet, and I type in. You know, I don't like to type. This. Just a manual work, and、um, yeah, it's not my. I I I don't like it. So I I think of、um, using Python to to automate as far as possible. May not be completely, but at least can help a bit, and also a little more fun to be, to my work in the office. Okay. Now we can use the Open Py Excel. This one little tool. Then I can. Open it. Load workbook. Then worksheet normally is the first one. And、uh, normally the name of this worksheet is sheet one, but you can use just a zero because normally the single sheet. Then you can test it to to print the first cell. The main, the row one and column one. Yeah, this title sample. Correct, and then、um, we can、uh, test the number of rows. It always get four rows, and because I have the title, so for the new item number would be this minus one. Because、um, I will get rid of the title, and then it's simple. Now the last one. We worksheet a pen for the new column, a new row. The new item number is now with、um, this、uh, depends on the maximum row and the date time. It can be automated by using this module daytime, and then、um, from the information given by the email of my coworker, I can know oh that a product is radio. Of course, it's just for example, maybe TV set now, because、uh, radio is not that common nowadays. And the standard, I mean, from、uh, internet, then I can use、uh, web scraping to Google. Using Selenium module of Python, and the lab, of course, that gives me information from the my coworker. You know, all those information are of different format and very annoying. And I can use Emacs to copy all those information and then rearrange them without any format. And then I can just add with one line of code can add to my database in Excel and run it. Wait for some time. Oh, finished. And see. Yeah, the edit. Then you can copy the format here, the old format. Then you get it. So you get a date automatic. This automatic. This、uh, not automatic, but. I get information from my coworkers, and these two, and this one I can use web scraping using Selenium or Beautiful Soup, whatever it is. 
Okay, that's it. So, not completely automated. You need, I still need some manual formatting, but not too bad. Better than just typing as a clerk. Okay. Thank you very much for listening to my sharing of experience in Python and uh, Emacs today, and I hope to talk to you some other days. Have a nice day.